back to our English class. How are you? Are you all happy today? Okay. In our previous classes, we have learned about tenses, simple, progressive, perfect and perfect continuous for present tense, past tense and future tense. Right? Is it a boring topic? Okay. Now, let's put aside the grammar portion and come back to our textbook stories and prose and poems. Alright. In our previous classes, we have learned some idioms. Do you remember? Okay. In this class, I am going to tell you an idiom. It's a delicious idiom. Do you know why? Because the phrase itself is delicious. The idiom we are learning, going to learn today is a piece of cake. How many of you like cake? Most of you like, love to eat cake, right? So, the idiom we are going to learn today is a piece of cake. A piece of cake. We all love cake. Is eating cake a difficult task? No. Even a small kid can eat a cake without doing any complex task. We should, we need not to, need, there is no need of chewing or there is no need of crumbling or crushing or squeezing anything, right? Just we can eat a piece of cake a very easy. Similarly, the idiom, the phrase, a piece of cake means very easy task or something easily done. There are some tasks for which we need great effort. But for some tasks, there is no need of any great effort. For example, sleeping is a task. Is it a difficult task? No. It's very easy task. But I am not coming to say that sleeping is similar for this a piece of cake. Just for an example, I am telling. So, there are some works or some duties we need some efforts. But there are something which is very easy for us. For sometimes some of us are very familiar with singing. So, singing is just a simple task. Very easy for me to do. Right? So, such works, for such works we can say, it's just a piece of cake for me. Which means, this particular work is very easy for me. I can do it very well. Okay. So, what is meant by a piece of cake? A piece of cake means very easy task or something easily done. Okay. For some, some of you are more familiar and well trained in dancing. So, dancing is a piece of cake for you. Now, come to an example. Don't worry about the test. It will be a piece of cake for you. Here, a person is saying to his or her friend that don't worry about the test because it will be a piece of cake for you. Which means, it will be an easy task for you. You can do it better. You can do it well. So, it's just a very simple task for you. Is that clear, students? Is this particular idiom is a delicious idiom? Okay. So, what is the idiom we learned today? A piece of cake. A piece of cake means a simple and easy task. We can do a simple, the task we are going to do is simple. The meaning is very easy task or something easily done. I can do something easily. Okay, that is a piece of cake for me. Alright. Students, in this class, I am going to discuss with you about a poem which was an interesting and beautiful poem written by an Indian writer. We have already learned something about Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore is also an Indian writer. He is a famous writer as well as a patriotic person. 
right he was involved in the act uh, as an independent activist similarly this poem was written by an indian writer a female writer she is also a popular person in india she was also an independent activist can you guess who is that very good it is none other than mrs sarojini naidu who is that she is mrs sarojini naidu mrs sarojini naidu is a famous popular indian female writer she is a popular poet she has written so many short stories and more than that she is famous for her collection of poems okay she is famous for her collection of poems she is an independent activist her through her words through rabindranath tagore's words he made some contribution for the independence of our nation similarly mrs sarojini naidu has done some works through her words she made some contribution for the independence of our nation all right so today in this class i am going to give some introduction about mrs sarojini naidu as well as the poem night fall in the city of hyderabad the poem which we are going to discuss in this class and also in our next class is night fall in the city of hyderabad what is the title of the poem night fall in the city of hyderabad once again night fall in the city of hyderabad which was written by mrs sarojini naidu who is mrs sarojini naidu she is an indian poet all right students now let's learn something about mrs sarojini naidu mrs sarojini naidu was born in hyderabad she was born in hyderabad and she was an indian independent activist and a poet she was a popular poet indian poet and she was a child prodigy which means she has more skill and she is gifted with marvelous skills when she was a child and you know one fact she has written a persian play a lang a uh, persian language a play in persian language and for that play she won a scholarship and with that scholarship she studied in abroad okay so from her childhood itself she is well talented she is gifted with variety of skills like writing and she knew so many languages like urdu hindi persian english and so on how many languages do we know it's a question mrs sarojini naidu when she was a child she knew more than 10 languages and she was gifted with so many talents so many skills okay now come back and one more fact i'll tell you women's day in india is celebrated as the birthday of i mean the birthday of mrs sarojini naidu is celebrated as women's day in india do you know this fact so whose birthday is celebrated as women's day it is mrs sarojini naidu's birthday and i'll give you a work today find out when is her birthday exactly the date okay students will you all find it out when is the birthday of mrs sarojini naidu and it's a special day as we are celebrating it as women's day and because she has contributed so many things for our nation as well as for the field of literature all right now her collection of poems are published under the title the golden threshold the golden threshold is one of her famous works and it's 
completely it's a collection of poems all right and some other famous works are the golden threshold is one and the other is the bird time next the broken wing so these are the three famous collection of poems written by mrs sarojini naidu okay what are they the golden threshold the bird of time the broken wing these are the famous works written by mrs sarojini naidu these are not novel students these are the collection of poems all right next and her first play already i told you that her persian play for that persian play she got a scholarship and with the help of that scholarship she studied in abroad and that was his, her first play okay she has written a persian play that is in persian language that is her first play now i'll tell you some of her works other works which are written for children most of her works are written for children like the cradle song the indian weaver palanquin bearer then ecstasy past and future the gift of india autumn song an indian the royal tomb of golconda the bird of time and so on so so many works she has written for children you can browse it in the internet you will get so many collection of poems which are written mainly for children by mrs sarojini naidu so is that clear students keep in mind that mrs sarojini naidu is an indian writer and also an indian independence activist okay her first play was written in persian language she is popular for her poetries and her main works main collection of poetries are entitled as the golden threshold the bird of time the broken wing all right now take your textbook take page number 53 there they have given some more information about mrs sarojini naidu sarojini naidu 1879 to 1949 was born in hyderabad and educated in madras london and cambridge she was a child prodigy who wrote a 1300 line poem in english and a play in persian at a very early age she grew up to be a political activist a feminist a poet an essayist and the first woman to be appointed president of the indian national congress and the governor of a state in free india so she was a feminist activist poet essayist and she was appointed as the president of a political party named as indian national congress and also she was appointed as a president of a particular state in free india which means after independence she was appointed as a president of a state will you find out which is the name or what is the name of that particular state okay in 1914 she was elected as a fellow of the royal society of literature in 1914 she was elected as a fellow of the royal society of literature she earned the name nightingale of india due to the lyrical and expressive nature of her poems she was called as the nightingale of india do you know who called her as the nightingale of india who is the father of our nation mahatma gandhi ji So Mahatma Gandhi ji called her as the nightingale of India. Why did he call so called her as the nightingale of India? Because of her 
lyrical and expressive nature of her poems okay so mahatma gandhi ji called her as the nightingale of india and till now we are calling mrs sarojini naidu as the nightingale of india all right students students take your book take page number 52 shall we read the poem now are you all ready okay night fall in the city of hyderabad see how the speckled sky burns like a pigeon's throat jeweled with embers of opal and peridot see the white river that flashes and scintillates curved like a tusk from the mouth of the city gates how from the minaret how the musings call floats like a battle flag over the city wall from trellised balconies languid and luminous faces gleam veiled in a splendor voluminous leisurely elephants wind through the winding lanes swinging their silver bells hung from their silver chains round the high charminar sounds of gay cavalcades blend with the music of cymbals and serenades over the city bridge night comes majestical born like a queen to a sumptuous festival now will you all read it students students have you all heard about the word hyderabad it is in telangana state all right so hyderabad is the capital of telangana it is in south india where is telangana where is hyderabad it is in south india do you know the speciality of south india i mean hyderabad what is the speciality of hyderabad it is a historical city as we have learned about agra agra is a historical city similarly hyderabad is also a historical city and it is famous for golconda fort it is a place where diamond trading was there in the past and also charminar charminar is also a famous historical place there it is a mosque and which was constructed in the 16th century okay so there are so many historical places we could find in hyderabad now Sarojini Naidu has chosen this particular city why it is her birthplace she was born in hyderabad so so she is praising her own native city that is hyderabad now first see how the speckled sky burns like a pigeon's throat jeweled with embers of opal and peri dot now she is describing the beauty of hyderabad especially in the night time what is meant by nightfall nightfall means closing of the day end of the day which means after the twilight time so the closing of the day how a city looks a city will be lightened up with beautiful varieties of lights and it looks very bright so in this poem she is describing the beauty of her own city that is hyderabad at first she is saying that the sky looks very bright and glittering and that looks like a pigeon's throat which is jewel or which is decorated with opal and peridot opal it's a variety of gem we all know diamond is a gem similarly opal is a 
gem so she is saying that in the night fall in the closing of the day that is in the evening time or almost at the night how the city of hyderabad looks like the city of hyderabad is glittering and this glittering or shining night shining sky is like a jeweled throat of a pigeon if a pigeon's throat if a pigeon's neck is decorated with variety of gems like opal and peridot what is mean by peridot peridot a green semi precious mineral so it is also a precious mineral it's like a precious stone just like diamond and opal okay so opal is a gem variety it is also a gem just like diamond so she is saying that my city is glittering is shining like a jewelry which is decorating the throat of a pigeon here it may refer to the light effects in the city or the crackers which are giving more brightness to the city so she is describing about her city of hyderabad during a festive season so during the festive season how the celebration will be during diwali how the city looks like it will looks like a glittering shining place right so similarly in this point she is describing about a festive season a mode of celebration in the city of hyderabad is that clear students in the first two lines what is she saying the speckled the sky already there are tall towers and mosques were there in the city of hyderabad we could see only a little bit of sky and that sky is glittering is shining like a pigeon's throat pigeon's neck which is decorated with opal and peridot so she is saying that my city my city that is hyderabad is glittering is shining in the night time okay now she is in a festive mood full of celebration all right next see the white river that flashes and scintillates curved like a tusk from the mouth of the city gate near by the city gate city of hyderabad there is a river which is flowing and the name of the river is musi okay musi the name of the river which is flowing in the city of hyderabad is musi so now she is describing the beauty of this particular river see the white river that flashes and scintillates curved like a tusk from the mouth of the city gate so this particular river is flowing and is in a curved shape okay what is mean by tusk tusk we all know right it is the long teeth of the elephant so we all have seen tusk in how can we see the tusk it is from in elephant we could see the tusk so tusk is the long teeth of the elephant so it looks in a curved shape right so similarly the narrator i am sorry the poet Mrs. Sarojini Naidu is saying that this river is flowing in the city gate of Hyderabad just like a tusk. Okay, so this particular river, Musi, is flowing in the main city of Hyderabad. Okay, and that particular river is flashing, is also glittering because of the lights there in the city. during night time the reflection of the lights golden lights may be silver lights may be so the reflection of the lights will be there on the river surface of the river we could see right so she is now saying that 
this particular river which is looking like a tusk from the mouth of the city of Hyderabad or the city gates is flashing, is glittering, is sparkling. Okay. Next. Hawk from the minaret. How the musai's call floats like a battle flag over the city wall. Already I told you that it is a historical place. We could see so many mosques there. Okay. So musai's are the people who are calling the fellow men for worship. So you have, they have given a meaning there in page number 53. What is meant by Musai? A man who calls Muslims to prayer. Usually from the tower of a mosque. So this Musai will stand in the tower of the mosque and they will call for the Prayer. They will call all the Muslims for worshipping. For prayer. Those person are called as Musa. So who is Musa? Musa is a man who will call all the Muslims for prayer. And they will stand at the tower of the mosque. Hawk. Hawk means listen. What is meant by hawk? Listen. It is not hark. R is silent here. Okay. Hawk. Hawk from the minaret. What is meant by minaret? It is the tower attached with the mosque. It is there in the page itself. In page 52 you have, you could see the mosque there and you could see the tower also. So this tower is called minaret. So from this minaret a musai is calling all the Muslims for Prayer. This calling, this voice is traveling in the air. The sound, the sound wave is traveling in the air. And this sound looks like a battle flag. How a flag floats in the air. Similarly, the voice, the sound wave of this particular person, this particular musician who is calling all the Muslims for the prayer from the tower, that sound waves is traveling in the air. This sound wave is like a battle flag in the city of Hyderabad. So, this poem is all about the description of the or the beauty of the city of Hyderabad. At first, she said the sky is sparkling, is glittering like the jewel, like opal and peridot. Secondly, she is describing the beauty of the river which is flowing in the city gate, music. It is flashing, it is sparkling in the night light. Next, she is telling that in this night time, a musai is calling all the Muslims for prayer and this voice is traveling in the air like a battle flag. Now shall we read the poem once again? See how the speckled sky burns like a pigeon's throat, jeweled with embers of opal and peridot. See the white river that flashes and scintillates, curved like a tusk from the mouth of the city gates. Hop from the minaret, how the musai's call floats like a battle flag over the city wall. Till this, can you understand students? So we have seen the six lines of the poem. Nightfall in the city of Hyderabad. Who is the poet? Sarojini Naidu. What is meant by nightfall? Closing of the day. The Hyderabad, this word is Hyder city. City of Hyderabad is known as Hyder city. Hyder means lion. So it is also named as lion city. Alright. 
And one more thing students, in the beginning of our class we have learnt an idiom, what is that? A piece of cake. This particular word was originated in the year 1870s. Okay, during, during 1870s this particular word was originated. It was or, originated among the South Americans. There so many black Americans are, are under the control of the white Americans. They are the slaves. Black Americans were the slaves. In South America and in a particular place. So these black Americans, they will arrange some parties to insult the white Americans. And then they used this word, a piece of cake. And also there is another fact that during 1930s, in the Royal Air Force, it is a group in the army. Okay, so in the Royal Air Force, they used this particular phrase, a piece of cake, in the year during 1930s. This is also a fact about that idiom. Students, I hope you all have enjoyed our today's class. Read the poem once again. See you all in the next class, students. Until, take care. Thank you.